Greetings and welcome to this massive open online course entitled An Introduction to Bio-Risk Management. This course is being brought to you by University Malaysia Sabah in collaboration with the Commonwealth of Learning. This five-week course has been designed and developed to introduce you to the key concepts of biosafety and biosecurity management. I am your instructor, Kenneth, and I will be guiding you through this five-week course, which will include four weeks of instruction and one week of assessment. The assessment can be done from the safety of your home. We felt the need for the, the development of this course because of the emergence of new pathogens which pose a significant risk to public health and safety. Research involving these pathogens, which are known as biological agents, is essential in order to develop the cure or the vaccines which are necessary to counteract the threat posed by these biological agents. We have divided this course into four weeks of instruction. During the first week, I will focus on biological agents. Biological agents are pathogens which pose a significant risk to public health and safety. We will be focusing on viruses, bacteria, fungi, prions, and other subviral particles which have been designated as pathogens. The second week of this course will focus on risk assessment. Risk is a function of likelihood and consequence. Bio-risk managers must address the risk posed by biological agents and classify them based on their risk groups. This is important because the risk group determines the level of mitigation. The second week of this course will focus on the risk matrix and assessment of risk posed by a biological process. The third week of this course will fo focus on risk mitigation. Risk mitigation involves the application of specific controls to mitigate or reduce the risk posed by biological agents. The controls include elimination, substitution, engineering controls, administrative controls, and personal protective equipment. We will learn how to apply these controls in a pertinent manner so as to mitigate the risk posed by a specific pathogen or a group of pathogens. The fourth week of this course will focus on administration of a bio-risk facility. I will be discussing the roles and responsibilities of the administrators as well as the biosafety officers and facility managers who play a critical role in ensuring that pathogens are contained in the laboratory. We will also delve into the concept of performance assessment which plays a critical role in ensuring that all the procedures are adhered to in a contained working environment. The fifth week of this course will involve a case study. You will be assigned a specific case and you will have to apply what you have learned in order to resolve the biosafety and biosecurity issues associated with a specific pathogen. I hope that you can communicate amongst your colleagues in this course as well as with me via the forums which are available at this platform. I would like to acknowledge the generous support of the Commonwealth of Learning in the development of this course. Credits are also due to my trainers at Sandia National Laboratories who have been instrumental 
in training me in bio-risk management. Thank you very much for watching this introduction. I look forward to interacting with you. For now, stay at home and stay bio-safe.